It's hard to put your finger on exactly what has gone wrong for Liverpool so far this season, as so many elements have contributed to what has been a perfect storm. To the season-ending injuries to Virgil van Dijk, Joe Gomez and Joel Matip, and the knock-on effect that has had on the midfield, with Fabinho deployed out of position at centre-back, to the continued absence of captain Jordan Henderson from the field, and fans in the standard Anfield, and to perhaps a physical and psychological burnout after four intense seasons that saw Jurgen Klopp's side climb from eighth in the Premier League to the the top of England, Europe and the world. But as Liverpool look to salvage the season and secure a place in the Champions League, one of their biggest weaknesses right now was for so long one of their biggest strengths, finishing chances. In their first three seasons together, Mohamed Salah, Sadio Mane and Roberto Firmino scored 57, 56 and 46 Premier League goals between them respectively, with the Reds as a team netting 84, 89 and 85 in total. This season, Salah, Mane and Firmino have 34 Premier League goals between them, with Salah accounting for 50 percent of them, while the Reds, as a team, have netted just 55 goals from their 33 games. The decline is there for all to see. However, the underlying numbers prove that those figures should be much better. Expected goals, or XG, offer an insight into the likelihood of a shot finding a net based on historical data, largely attached to the location of the attempt, but among various other aspects such as the body part used to take the shot and the position of the goalkeeper. Scoring above expected goals indicates that above average finishing has been showcased, but that hasn't been the case for Liverpool this season. According to the metric, the Reds have generated shots worth roughly 56.3 non-penalty goals, but they have actually scored just 46 times, excluding penalties and own goals. That means the defending champions have underperformed by 10.3 goals, which is the third most in the Premier League, ahead of only Fulham and Brighton. Interestingly, that underperformance of 10.3 goals is the same figure which Liverpool overperformed by last season as they secured the Premier League title for the first time. Much of the issue this season stems from Mane and Firmino. No two players in the Premier League have fared worse when it comes to finishing this season, as they have underperformed by a combined total of 10.6 goals. On the flip side, Diogo Jota, who was signed last summer to offer competition to Mane, Firmino and Salah, has overperformed by 2.9 goals. But despite Jota's success, there is a strong feeling that the Reds need to sign another forward this summer, especially as it seems that Klopp has lost faith in his other backup options like Divock Origi. The names that scream out are Jadon Sancho, Kylian Mbappe and Erling Haaland. All three players have been linked with Liverpool in the past and the prospect of playing for the club and working with Klopp would no doubt appeal. But apart from the deals for Virgil van Dijk and Alisson Becker, the club's owners, FSG, have avoided signing marquee names, instead focusing on outside-of-the-box buys, which Jota, Salah and Mane all were. And given the fact that the club this week posted an annual £46 million pre-tax loss after feeling the initial impact of the global pandemic, more clever business may be needed by sporting director Michael Edwards. So who could Edwards sign who wouldn't cost as much as Sancho, Mbappe and Haaland? While it is difficult to identify a player who ticks all of Sancho's boxes, there are some players who seem similar in type to the Borussia Dortmund winger, with Leeds United's Rafinha being a possible option. The Brazilian has played on both wings this season, although he does prefer the right, and he's fast while also having a tendency to score and create goals. Moussa Diaby, Christopher Nkuku and Pedro Neto also vaguely meet the criteria. Mbappe is even harder to find an alternative for than Sancho. The Paris Saint-Germain striker's speed is unrivaled, and that forms a huge part of his threat in behind. He's perhaps not as inclined to create for others as Sancho, but he certainly scores more often. The problem with finding an alternative to Mbappe is that many of those with similar skills are already contracted to top European or Premier League rivals, including the likes of Raheem Sterling, Timo Werner and Marcus Rashford. Rafinha could fit the bill once more, but he's more in the creative mould than scoring goals every other week, while Harvey Barnes is another name given his recent rise at Leicester City and the directness attached to his game. Haaland, much like Mbappe, is another player who is unique and consequently difficult to compare to others. Not only is Haaland capable of occupying an entire defensive line, he's also remarkably fast and able to lead counter-attacks. In addition, the Borussia Dortmund forward scores goals at an incredible rate. There are two vaguely comparable profiles within the Premier League in Tammy Abraham and Dominic Calvert-Lewin, although they don't possess the same quality and potential of Haaland and they are almost certain not to join Liverpool. 
but Andre Silva could prove to be an interesting alternative. The Portuguese striker moved to Eintracht Frankfurt last summer for a reduced fee from AC Milan and he scored 25 goals in 29 Bundesliga games this season. Six of those have originated from the penalty spot and while Silva isn't quite as physically gifted as Haaland, he's experienced a strong campaign in Germany and doesn't turn 26 until November. <laughs> 